So good morning. Uh, my name is uh, Dragon Priest, and I'm known as Priest in the Streets. My lawful name is out on my channel, and that is only provided to people who are invited to know me through my LinkedIn and other social media accounts. At the present time, I'm experiencing about year 10 of being hit by cybercrime, identity theft, and fraud. In my left hand here, I have a copy of my Quran that I received when I was incarcerated unlawfully by a female judge who wanted to play with me. What you can see is the bag that it was put in has rips in it, which I didn't do, and openly someone ripped the cover off both sides of my crayon when I stayed in the men's shelter. At the same time, they ripped pieces in the top of it, they ripped corners off the inside of the cover, and I had placed names of law enforcement officers inside the inner pieces of my book, and you can see that someone has viciously ripped those out of there, and openly that was immoral. The liars of America are in the sheriff's office is absolutely true. This is my Quran, and you can see that I have marked it. If you look carefully, you'll see different type of passages of where I read it and make notes. When I talk about God, I talk about God from different perspectives. And those different perspectives came out of this book and others, like the Bible, which I carry with me, although the print, sadly, of my ESV is way too small for me, even with my spectacles on. The truth of America is that we have rights to read about religion. We have the right to practice any religion we want. And the more and more that I get hit by black Baptists and other Christians, the more and more I move myself into a government-protected religion called Wiccan, but for me it's actually pagan. They're a little bit slightly different. Now, a Wiccan person, unlike what you see in Wikipedia, is not always a player in the dark. A Wiccan person is someone what a bit of a mystic, a prophet, and a wizard. And that is very different. We get a lot of flack these days over Harry Potter and its alleged satanic worshipping, but I don't see that. What I see is that that author is pulling things not only out of mythology in terms of names and parts of her history in terms of her family experience as a child, but she's also pull, pulling things out like in this upcoming movie that I only got to see a snippet of uh, the darker side of the upcoming film that I apologize I don't know the name of, but it's one of the newest ones, where the Lephiathan, and I can't say that very well, Lephiathan, someone help me with that, is a part of the new film, and that comes directly out of the Bible. You see, many of the concepts, many of the precepts in those type of films, even Narnia, use an animal like the lion, like my fob. And while this is a Gryffindor uh, fob from a marvelous little shop in Urbana, I can tell you that there are some people that like to mesmerize and like to play in the psychological areas of the mind, and they like to do that without your conscientious consent or your palpable or payable permission.